Why did 90% of ancient Egyptian homes treat cats like royalty? Because cats solved a dangerous, profit-killing problem for households. Cities and granaries were packed with stored grain everywhere, and grain inevitably attracted swarms of rats into storage. Rats spread disease and ruined people's food supplies fast. Enter the cat, an efficient pest control machine for granaries. Low-maintenance hunters, always alert, rarely needing human upkeep. Over generations, Egyptians favored friendlier wildcats for company. They also favored bolder wildcats that tolerated human presence, slowly creating the domestic cat species we recognize today. Scientists tracing cat DNA reveal an ancestral wildcat origin. Near Eastern wildcat lineages appear in early domestication genetics, mixed with North African lineages across the region's populations. Essentially, humans selected the tamest hunters over many generations. Then culture caught up to biology, elevating cats' status. Cats protected stored food from rodents in villages and cities. They also kept people safer by deterring dangerous snakes and they removed other vermin, keeping homes healthier and cleaner. Religiously, cats became associated with Bastet, a protective goddess. Killing a cat was illegal under social and religious norms. Archaeology finds many mummified cats preserved in tombs, and offerings left for cats prove their sacred importance. They were both sacred icons and economically valuable allies.